Tell somebody by yourself, please tell the person, this service is my service. I just want to let you know. I came hungry and prepared. Please pardon, pardon, pardon my disorder. Pardon my behavior. If you see me rolling on the ground, if you see me jumping up, it's part of my plan. If you... Listen. If you see me shouting beside you, it's part of my plan. I plan to come celebrate God today. Nothing stopping me. Six months, I'm still here. Six months in 2023, I'm still here. Oh boy, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Certain things are permitted in this service. One of the permitted is that nothing should hold your praise. Yes, yes. Another thing that is permitted is this. Don't allow the aroma of anybody affect your praise. Bros, six months. I survived the election. Six months. Woo! Oh, if you have been to where I've been to, see what I've seen. Handle what I've handled. Test what I've tested. Suffer what I suffered. You will shout to the Lord and give him praise like nobody else. You will shout to the Lord. understand your testimony, they will do your praise. Yes. If they know what you have been through, they will do your praise. The reason is that they've not seen what you have seen. Yes. Tell the person, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. No, I, 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 sincerely, I don't blame you. No problem. No problem. If you have waited and waited and waited and waited, and God shows up on your behalf, you will shout my shout. You will sing my song. Yes. You will dance my dance. You will praise like I praise. Because I've been through some stuff. I've been through some stuff, I'm telling you. Listen, my wife and I were just doing a bit of a review. Sometimes it's always good to do a reminisce and go back to where you grow from. It's good to always do a reminisce and go to where they used to call you names. I drove one day to my former area where <laughs> listen, when the Lord lifts you out of the dunghill and out of the dust and place you among the princes of your people the tears you will cry is the tears of joy and I prophesied to somebody here, your tears of joy is coming Amen. Yes. I remember I was, I, was I, I went to my former area and I remembered one day, I was a young boy, and I was standing by the bus stop. I can never forget that day. I was standing by the bus stop. I was waiting to get into the bus. And from nowhere, Mina, I said it in one of the teachings one day, but I didn't mention that I was the one. Because people would have laughed at me if I had mentioned it. So I just said it. For if some of you remember. I was by the bus stop. Hey, and I didn't do anything. I have, I have suffered that day. I've gone through hell and high water. So I was just waiting by the bus stop. Okay, let me just go to where I'm going to. And from nowhere, a conductor gave me a slap. It wasn't his boss. I was, I was just, you know how you are standing like this. And he gave me a slap and he was going. Man, people suffer, man. <laughs> I don't know whether to cry. I, I was just looking like this. What kind of life is this? I didn't do anything. I didn't offend you. So you see, when you see me do some dance, I'm coming from somewhere. There's an inspiration in every man. There's an inspiration. He's coming from somewhere. So some people will not understand your dance. Don't fight them. Oh, Jesus, look at that woman that came with an alabaster box and broke it before him and was pouring it upon the feet of Christ and was using her hair to rub it. And people say, hey, why are you wasting this much? Ah, Jesus said, you don't know where this one has been through. If you know where she has been through, you will bring your own alabaster box. How many people are breaking alabaster box this morning? Woo! That's why 
why sometimes my prayers look like grace. It's not because I don't want to be orderly. It's not because I don't want to be coordinated. But sometimes when anointing hits you, there's no coordination in it. Sometimes when your testimony hits you, you won't remember to coordinate yourself. I was hearing a testimony in Winners yesterday. Was it this, yesterday or this morning? And, and there was a gentleman the mother came to share the testimony on the behalf of the son. He said the son went to Covenant University, so they came out together. He said, this my son came out from Covenant University. He's currently the CEO of a fintech company. So, but he said, a few days ago, I had the premonition to go and visit my son. So he went to visit his, his son. He said, when I visited him, I was with him. Then he told me, I said, he wanted to go and do a meeting with the uh, shareholders or something on the board. And after he finished the meeting, he went mental. He said all of a sudden he came towards her and charged her and almost killed her in the house. He said she didn't know what to do. So, so somehow she brought him all right, to service where they were doing communion service. And while they were doing communion service, that mental healing was healed. The guy, while they were sharing the testimony, the guy was with the mother, the guy was crying. He was the CEO of a fintech. CEO of a fintech. You don't understand? CEO of a fintech. The guy could not be orderly when the Lord just delivered you. He went mental. Whatever thing they wanted to attack, God delivered him from it. So, so many times, people will never understand your language of praise. Don't blame them. If you have waited for a child for 20 years and the baby comes out, your running will be different. You, now, you got it. You got it like that. You got it like that, so you can't understand. You know, you, you just got married, and as you got married, you got it like that. So no problem. You, you won't understand. You won't understand some of us that had to wait for years. We had to wait that every time a seed comes in, they will check and say, is he a baby? Say, it's not a baby, and you go back. You have to wait that every vomit that happens when you're feeling nauseated, and you go back to the hospital, you feel it's a baby, and say, oh, no, it's not a baby. Every disappointment you had to go to, then the worst thing is, you not even had to have it in. Then you not get there, and I say, oh, the thing has gone off. After two months, after three months, you wouldn't understand people that go through that stuff. After ten years, nothing is going on. Even the man is almost considering, are you sure that anything will happen here? She dealt with emotional issue, mental issue, all of that. Then after twenty years, a seed stands. Then she now gives birth to a baby. You are not asking, why are you dancing too much? No, if you suffer what she suffered, you will dance more than what she's dancing. So I declare to somebody here your praise. Nobody will hold your praise. I said nobody will hold your praise. The devil will not hold your praise. In the name of Jesus. The devil will not hold your praise. Church, we are only preparing for next Sunday. Please, when you are coming next Sunday, come with sagacity. Don't come, don't come normal. Come, come. I don't want to say abnormal, but, but come. <laughs> come, come in an unusual. Listen, listen, listen. If you can, if you can. I, I'm not, I'm not today. I don't know who can help me here. Man of God, I'm not today borrow, borrow, uh, borrow limousine now. I'm not today learn limousine. It should not be too much now. Maybe about, maybe about 100k or something for the day. For the day. 300k. 300k. Okay. Okay, 300k. How many people can be inside the limousine? Eh? About 10. About 10. So even if 10 of us contribute money, 300. That's what we say. We contribute money, 300. We will enter the limousine. This is where you should come. This is where you should come. We don't be coming like this. We will park here. Say, oh, what is it? It's mega task. <laughs> make sure, make sure you are the last person coming out of the limousine. They will stay picture. Then you come out. That's the time to take your selfie. You will tell the devil, listen, devil, listen, devil. We can enter it. We can come out. We came to celebrate our God. Uh, I came in the limousine. I came out here. There's some, there's some sagacious behavior we should all have. When you have the opportunity, you need to provoke the devil. I say, uh, you root me for a while. Okay, no problem. I'm here now. I'm here now. You, you root me for a while. I, I'm here now. Uh, Bishop, uh, Bishop, I also told Bishop, uh, Bishop, I also told Bishop, he said, come, 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 let me teach you how to rule money. And he came to his house and he poured dollars, poured naira on the floor and told the Bishop to be working on it. He said, as you work on it, you will rule on money. Money will not rule over you. Sometimes you need to do some exercise. Even if it's 10K you have, 
Eh? In the presence. In the privacy of your room, put it on the ground. You will not rule over me. All this on that they want to pay rent, I can't sleep. You will not rule over me. <laughs> you know, you want to pay 350k rent and your body shaking. You are poor. You will not rule over me. In the name of Jesus, I have rulership over you. You are a spirit, the spirit of mammon. I rule over you. I rule over you. Come on, man. I can I, I cannot be what, what is going on here? I'm a child of a king. What's going on here? I'm a child of a king. Come on, behave like one. Tell someone you're a child of a king. What's wrong with you? That the person behaves, sir. Behave, sir. You're a child of a king. Behave, sir. There's a behavior. You're a child of a king. Never again. You know what we used to teach our children? We used to teach our children when you're walking, lift up your shoulder, pop up, and lift up your head. Don't ever be bowed when walking. No, that's not the posture of a king. That's the posture of a slave. A slave will never look up, but a king looks up. Oh, come on. You may not have become what you should become, but you can look up. You need to stretch your chest and look at no matter what is facing you. Say, listen, I may be staying in Orile. Orile does not make me. I get what I'm saying. Oh, you didn't hear what I said there. Let me help you to say it. I may be staying in Orile. Orile does not make me. It does not define me. It does not define me. I'm going somewhere. Tell somebody I'm going somewhere. Tell the person I have a journey. I have a journey. Don't stop me. I have a journey. Nothing shall stop my journey. I declare nothing shall stop my journey. We are breaking through walls. We are leaping. We are leaping. We are leaping over troops. All of a sudden your leg is receiving strength from today. All of a sudden you can walk upon your high places again. All this getting tired too much. No, you will not be tired again. I said the Lord will renew your strength. Listen, I'm prophesying. Join me. The Lord will renew your strength. I said my strength is coming back again. I can do that job again. I can do that business again. I will handle that project again. I have the favor of God. I will not be sick like hospital. I said I will not be sick like hospital. I will not be sick like hospital. Hear me and hear me clearly. This is your season. If you have been asking, Pastor, where's my season? This is it. If you have been asking, but my season has not come, I said, this is your season. Because dominion is your lifestyle. Oh, you didn't hear what I said there. I said, dominion is your lifestyle. Well, I walk in dominion. Oh, I walk in dominion. I feel so high in my spirit. I said, I walk in dominion. Anything that wants to stop you, you will cross over. I said, you will cross over. I declare today, I said, you will cross over. Before you sit down, find three, four people and tell them, I see you moving to the other side, to the great side, to the big side, to the power side, to the faithful side, to the joyful side. I see you moving. I see you moving. You may be seated. Let me prepare you for 20 minutes and I'll get out of your way. I'll do my best. <laughs> Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Let's jump into it. Verse. Tell somebody you are blessed already. already. Listen, if the person is not telling you, find somebody else. Tell the person you are blessed already. <laughs> Tell the person as I'm looking at you, I see the blessing of the Lord upon you. <laughs> Whatsoever you do <laughs> shall prosper. <laughs> Anything that comes out of you shall prosper. Your child shall prosper. It's coming out of you. Your business will prosper. It's coming out of you. Oh, I said that new job will prosper. It's coming out of you. Whatever comes out of you will prosper. Why? I'm blessed. Why would you prosper? You are coming out of Christ. Because Christ is blessed, I'm blessed. Now, anything that comes out of you also is what? Is blessed. Why? Anything that comes out of you, receive a blessing. Because it's coming from the DNA that you have. Let us make man in our own image. And say, let them have, after our likeness, and let them have dominion. The image of God will always have dominion. 
Anything that represents his image will always have dominion. If your marriage represents the image of God, it will have dominion. It is the image that has the audacity and the sagacity to have dominion. Nothing else can have dominion except the image of God. It is the image of God that has the right to have dominion. So we pursue to be like him, then we have dominion. That's what we pursue. If you pursue to be like him, you have dominion. It is his image that has the right to have dominion. If you have the fullness of his image, you have the fullness of dominion. It's his image. It's his image. Why do you think the devil has been fighting us all the time? Why do you think the enemy has been attacking us? Have you even asked yourself, am I the only one? Why is he always attacking me? Why is he always showing up? Why is he always coming with different kinds of affliction and temptation? Oh God, you look like God. Anything that represents the image of God is a target of the enemy. Because the enemy hates his image. The enemy dislikes his image. The enemy is infuriated when he sees the image of God. It's the image of God that causes havoc in the kingdom of hell. They are provoked by his image. If your son begins to look like his image, he will come after your son. Do you know why he doesn't bother about unbelievers? They don't look like his image. He doesn't bother about them. Listen, if currently you are in a major warfare, rejoice. If some of you, if you are currently in a major warfare, rejoice. You know why? You have just been, there's a bounty on your head. Get him. There's a bounty on your head. Get him. Because why? You are the image of God. The devil doesn't fight for fighting's sake. He doesn't have time. He spends time on value. So it's people that have value that the enemy attacks. If you don't have value, he leaves you out. He doesn't spend his time. And what is value is somebody that carries the image of Christ. In, in verse 28, jump into it, verse 28. He now said something. He said, and God blessed them. And God said, let them be fruitful. Let them be fruitful. The blessing itself is what gives the activation to your dominion. Anytime you see us called bless, 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 we're not calling it because of a cliche. We are calling it because it is your inheritance. To be blessed is your inheritance, sir. We don't have cursed people in our heritage. We don't have people under curse. I don't know where you brought yours from, but you are blessed. If anybody marries you into their family, that family is blessed. Oh, you don't know what I'm talking about here. When this lovely lady was going to get married to this, to this boy, I was a rudy boy, Pastor Shessa. I was the one that the Lord described concerning David. I was a rudy boy, meaning that there was nothing so much you should be able to see. You will not see kingship in me on time. You will not see it. To an extent that when my father in law looked at me, he told my wife, he said, is this guy still not in secondary school? That's what they saw. Because I was looking very skinny and very young. I can never forget that day. But when I entered into their house, I knew that I'm blessed. And I told myself, she didn't know then, I told myself, Lord, if I enter into this family, let them know that there are in-laws and there are in-laws. Oh, I promised myself. I said, I'm suffering the most. I must be the most recognized in this home. Because she's the first person that was getting married in the family, so I was the one that suffered the most. You know, the first always suffer. The, the father had real energy to deal with who was coming first. So I was the template they all used. Yeah. They told me, they said, hey, man of God, please, where, where, where's the house that you're going to stay? I said, we're working on this. I said, if you don't have a house, you're not getting married here. I can never forget how I went home. I went home sad. I said, Lord, how would you help me? This man will block this wedding. And I, I was looking for a house. But just like any young man, you know how you're looking for a house and you can't find a house. All of a sudden, as if all house just disappear to, to, as you're getting close to your wedding. And if you're not careful, you just find yourself, you just go and get into a house. You know those type of houses in Sulary that you will not check during rainy season. You know those type of house. You would have entered, finished, paid serious money. You just be sleeping and you just be seeing. Sips with your big company. I didn't have enough money to even look for. So I was looking for a house by faith. I was going following agent. Hey, where, where's the house? I, I was a man crazy in faith. I was not. My father, 
his house was there, but I told myself, I said, I will never carry my wife and go and stay in my father's house. I saw people doing it, but I said, I would never do it. So they knew. So I was going everywhere looking for a house. One day, one day we're in an hotel or something. I don't know whether it's an hotel or motel. You know, there's one between hotel and motel. It was a motel. It's not an hotel. Motel means that you will not, no reception in motel. <laughs> we're in a motel. And my wife, she took in and she was pregnant. Ah! When I saw that she was pregnant, she could not stand. Now, she has managed with me, one. She has survived with me, okay. The parents did not know what we were surviving. I'm telling you. I'm sure the man does not watch YouTube, so you don't even know what has happened. <laughs> He's over 70 now. He will know what's happened. You know, and, and my wife was irritated. And I said, okay, honey, you know what? Come, just go and stay with my mom. So she went to the house. I will never forget that day. I was tired. <sighs> That's when I learned the scripture of Anna. That you see, until you come to the place of provocation, some things don't change. You see, if you are managing it, they will help you manage it. Do you understand? They will help you manage it. If you don't change, things don't change. Until you get angry. I just sat down one day and I said, ah, ah. I serve the living God. How can I be married? And I don't know where to put my head. I just stood up. It was provocation. I stood up. And I went to, as I entered, there was an agency. I just entered into the agency. The guy was sleeping on the bench. I said, how are you? And you know, you know listen, listen. I always tell you, don't behave like where you're coming from. Always behave like where you're, where you're going. If you behave like where you're coming from, people will treat you anyhow. So I entered. Hey, how are you? He said, ah. He jumped up and said, fine, sir, fine, sir. I'm looking for your house. <laughs> there, was, there was nothing in my pocket. I'm looking for your house. Do you have any house around here? He said, yes, sir. I'll take you somewhere. He's not the owner of the place. Oh. But the way I charged him, he was just calling everybody. There's somebody looking for a house. I said, let's go, let's go, let's go. When we go to the place and we check the house, he showed me. I looked at the house. I said, okay, this, this is good. This is a good house. We can start here. We can start here. And I said, so how much is it? He called the amount. <laughs> I said, Lord. I just muttered in my spirit. I said, Lord, thank you. Oh, you know, I like the only one to see corruption. I will not enter shame. He said, and you know, agents, they will say, oh, God, you need to sort it out now, now. There's another person. There's never another person. <laughs> but, but, but you see, they must put that pressure on you. You will just be running. You will not be running at that skater. Oh, please borrow me money. But they're almost taking the house. They're, they're <laughs> ah! He said, there's another person. I said, hold on. I said, hold on. As I was thinking, I was in that house. The son of the landlord walked out. I said, how are you? He said, fine. How are you doing? I said, do you know? He said, yeah, it's my father's house. Oh, good. How are you? I said, I need this house. I like this house. I said, okay, okay. I can give you my father's number. Ah, the, the agent has gone home. So I got the number from the son, not the agent. Watch you. Immediately I called the man. How are you, sir? Another principle in success. People, when you are talking, huh, talk with the voice of where you are going to. Not where you're coming from. You know, you know all this. Uh, good afternoon, sir. No, 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 no. No, the moment you even, even if you call me, I want to do business with me, and I'm like, good afternoon, sir. Who are you? No, you don't do that. Good afternoon, sir. How are you, sir? You, you, when you talk like that, you may not have anything in your pocket, but have a voice. Oh, Lowo. Oh, Tulenu. You are four men. Most miserable. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You don't have money. You don't have mouth. You more have at least have one. I called the man. I said, how are you, sir? He said, I'm doing... I said, sir, I saw one of your properties. He said, yes, yes, yes. I, I would like to have it. He said, can you... Do you have two years? I said, I'll come and see you, sir. No two years, no nothing. I'll come and see you, sir. He said, okay. Uh, my son will give you address. Okay. The son gave me the address. When you are on a journey of faith, God will begin to hand you wisdom of how to navigate. The moment he gave me a date to come, I knew I should not go alone. So I took my wife. There was a little bump already. My wife lead the way. <laughs> when the man saw us, <laughs> oh, your wife, okay, sit down, sit down. Everything he would have planned to say, just seeing my wife alone was cut into half immediately. Then he said, okay, um, where are you from? You know that where you from thing? He said, where are you from? I said, well, my wife, I, I was just, my wife is from Edo side. My, I'm from Delta. 
Don't put Igbo. <laughs> Delta. Because then that time in Suleri, your mom, if you mention Igbo like this, yeah, please, please. We can't we can rent our house to Igbo people. <laughs> Igbo people has caused a lot of issues that time. So I didn't say Igbo. I just said Delta. Man said, okay, 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 okay. Oh, your wife, okay, Edo, okay, ah, oh, ah, ah. Your wife, this is where God operates. This is where God operates. Your wife looks like um, my daughter in law. The moment he said, Your wife, ah, are you sure they're not related in my heart? Are you sure in my heart? Are you sure they're not? Immediately I say, Oh, the moment he said, Your wife looks like immediately, favor started from there. So the first favor was, Okay, you know what? What do you guys have? Okay, we have, we don't have, we have one year. Okay, uh, we, okay. All right, pay me one and okay, but what about the what's that thing they always pay? AJ? No, no, no. Law, lawyer or something like that. Legal. Okay. So you pay. We didn't have all that. So we said, sir, we will, we will pay that one later. Can we can we spread that one? Ah, the man looked at me. Ah. He said, okay, okay, don't worry, you can pay it after you are packed in. So I did all of that. I was so joyful. So I took my wife to the house. When we got to the house, ah, Sister Fusha, when we got to the house, there was nothing in the house. But when Angela and I enter into the house, oh, shalaba, I just lie down on the ground. I said, praise God. The journey has started. May I marry your wife? Oh, yes, sir. oh you hear what I said? I said, marry your wife. Oh, don't go and marry, marry your wife. I know where my wife is coming from. She's coming from a sound home, sound everything. But she just followed me. She followed me. She said, let me follow this man. Let me. I, was, I was nothing to show forth that there was a journey. But she saw something. Even myself, I doubted that I had. After I got in, you know that agent I told you about? In her head that I packed in, <laughs> the man was angry. How did you? How did you? I said, oh, God, talk to talk. I don't know. Talk. The guy was angry. You will pay me. You will pay me. I said, with the Jesse. You are nothing. Oh, but that's how Mr. Scatter Lego. That's how I didn't pay any agency. <laughs> Church, listen, listen. It's a temporary pain. Tell someone it's a temporary pain. Tell the person God is working on you. He's just working. It's a process. Tell somebody it's a process. No matter what you are going through, it's a processor. It is not your final position. Your final position is beautiful. Your final position is glorious. This is not your hand. Tell someone, this is not your hand. Stop looking like that. This is not your hand. You are better than this. God is only preparing you. Listen, why we are sharing this story is that you, we can remind you that we have also been through it. So don't, don't think you not see somebody appear with car, appear with shoe, appear, ah, ah, man, man, ah, Lord, I want to be like Pastor Mano. I want to be like Pastor Shels. Oh, oh, ah, 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 be careful. Be careful of the prayer you pray. You know when, you know when James and John came to meet Jesus? Hey, we want to sit on the right and on the left. Lord, we have followed you enough. Let us be PA1, PA2. Jesus said, ah, ah, be careful. Are you sure you can drink what you are asking for? If you are praying for where they've arrived, are you sure you can, you can accept or suffer through what they've been through? The days in the hospital, the days you need to make a decision of a birth, and you are there, you are confused whether to sign or not to sign. And they say, we need to do CS now, and you need to sign. What about those days? What about the days when your, when your wife is supposed to be promoted and they didn't promote her and, you, and she comes back home and she's crying. You have to also bear with her and say, don't worry, honey. God will do it. He said, no, I've been in this office for the last five years, ten years. Nobody's recognizing me. I said, don't worry, honey. They will bless us. Let us trust God. You stay there. You stay there. You have to bear with her. You have to endure with her. What about when your son or your child will do something funny and you wonder, where did you get this habit from? You just go in your private place. You'll be crying. Say, ah, who gave birth to this boy? Where did you get this habit from? Then you're not going to prayer. You are praying for him. You are counseling him. You are praying for him. You are counseling Those periods. When you now see the children standing tall, you just say, see a graduate. You say, ah, 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 ah. You don't know what went in. Church, church, let me remind you clearly. And let it be clear. That you are blessed does not mean you will not go through stuff. Funny enough, going through is a test of the blessing. For the Lord told Abraham, Abraham, 
I am your exceedingly great reward. I will honor you. I will bless you. Whoever blesses you is blessed. Whoever curses you is cursed. Come out, Abraham. Come and look at the sky. You see all these stars, they will be your descendants. Oh, come and look at the sun. You see this sun? Oh, it's a similitude. They will be like your descendants. At 70, for 20 years, nothing happened. 20 years. Lord, but you said I'm blessed. Yes. Why we're waiting? Why we're waiting? Sarah, Abraham, please. I know we are blessed. But please, let's try something else. Don't worry, honey, I'm blessed. I know. I know you are blessed. But take my maid. Okay, for peace sake, I take your maid. Ishmael comes out and God shows up again. Abraham, did I not tell you that I will bless you? Ishmael is not the son. Another one is coming. Is Isaac. I know you've endured. And at a point, Scripture said, and Abraham did not stagger at the promises of God. And he did not consider the deadness of Sarah's womb. Church, that womb was dead. But he refused to consider it. He did not acknowledge that that womb was dead. He still believed that womb would carry a baby. I pray in the name of Jesus, everything that I've defiled, that I've defiled, your normal, normal thing that should happen to you, that they say is already dead, I'm praying in the name of Jesus, that thing will come alive. Amen. There's somebody here, listen, they think your womb is gone. Oh, pastor, I'm now going to menopause. Listen, 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 that doesn't speak about God. I'm telling you, God can turn it around. And I pray that God will turn your womb around. No, I say, I pray that God will turn your own around. Please write these three things down and we close. The first one is, when the Lord made that declaration and said he blessed them, he created them, the reason why he did that was because he wanted to enjoy himself. God created you to enjoy himself, not for you to enjoy yourself. The Bible says we are created for his pleasure. God created man and he looked at himself and said, let there be. He created man in his likeness so that he can enjoy himself. So when he sees man, he's happy. He's enjoying. That is the reason why he came from heaven to the earth to come and fellowship with you. He goes to the garden of Eden to have fellowship with Adam. God did not create Adam and put him in heaven. Have you noticed? He created Adam on earth and came to fellowship with Adam. That's the reason why I told them on Wednesday service. I said, your final destination is not heaven. Pastor, heaven is my home. Heaven is my home. Heaven is my home. Here I come. Oh, heaven is my home. Hey, heaven is my home. Ah, heaven is my home. Here I come. Ask your neighbor, what would you be doing in heaven? Ask your neighbor, okay, everyone's your home. Okay, what would you be doing, Evan? I will be singing, hallelujah. Pastor, what are they doing? The 24 hours say, holy, holy. So, so, so right now, if all of us get to heaven, just say, oh, okay, it's your turn, it's your schedule. Say, holy, holy. Then when I finish my home, my wife will do her own. Holy, holy. Then after I finish, oh, well, this is an eternity, holy. <laughs> Holy, come on, man. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? So you think God saved you to come to heaven? And we say, holy, holy. He has enough of worship in heaven. The Bible says that the angels and the cherubim of the 24 elders, they are giving, your worship cannot near their worship. He has enough of worship in heaven. He has enough of service in heaven. Angel Gabriel, Angel Michael, and all the other angels, when he wants to do any service, he sends them on errand. Angels that are acting to the word of his commandment. Hey, you go to Elizabeth's house. Oh, you go to Mary's house. He has enough of angels to serve him. Heaven is not your final home. Revelation chapter 21. He said a new heaven and a new earth shall come down. That new earth is having you inside to rule and reign with him. We are coming back here on earth to rule and to reign. When we go to heaven, it's a vacation. Okay, I won't dig more on that. When you come on Wednesday, you hear, or oh, go and check what I said on Wednesday. 
What I'm telling you is this. Stop just looking at, hey, I'm going to heaven. If God were to save you and come to heaven, that's where you should go first. God did not save you to come to heaven. God saved you first to be able to replicate him. You are an ambassador. We save you, we send you. We don't save you and keep you. Church, we save you and send you. I send you as lambs in the midst of wolves. I saved you, then I sent you. I didn't save you to keep you. Some of you, you are saved, but you are kept. But you are saved to be sent. You are supposed to be in your own military domain, warming up, being trained on a soldier, so that you can go for your dispatch. You are on a dispatch. We saved you to send you. We didn't save you to keep you. And that's the reason why the people that will show up in Revelation chapter 21 are the people that are soldiers with the Lord, that will reign with him. So that as he rise, we ride. That time we take over the nation, we rule the territory. That time there shall be no pain, no death, no sickness. There will be nothing like that anymore. Why? Because you are here on earth. Pastor, why do you say that heaven is not our final destination? Very simple. When God created man, what was the final destination? Talk to me, church. So God is bringing you back to the original intention. And the original intention is I'll bring you back again to the earth. But it's not the normal earth. It's now a new earth coming down from heaven. That's why it's preparing you. Because all of you are going to be rulers. You will rule territory. We're going to rule with flesh and bone, not flesh and blood. Flesh and bone will be disappearing from one place to another. He showed you an example with Philip. He showed an example of himself. When he showed up among the apostles, where did he come from? He walked through walls and showed up. That's how we're going to be operating in the new age. Flesh and bone, not flesh and blood. The Bible says we do not yet know how we're going to appear. But when we see him, we will be like him. How is he? He came to them and said, look at me, touch me. Does flesh and blood have, does flesh and blood have these bones? Do they have this type of flesh? He said, touch me. And they were touching him. They were touching him. They saw the holes and they discovered no blood was coming out. Where is the blood? That's the new body. Where is the blood? The blood has been offered. The blood has been shed. Where is the blood? Now we have flesh and bone. They still did not believe him. He said, okay, give me food. They gave him food. He ate the food. So where did the food go to? What that tells you is this. The incorruptible will swallow the corruptible. And when he swallows the corruptible, then the question will be asked, death, where is your sting? Then we will not be asking grave, where is your excitement? He said, for the Lord himself has died and the judgment has been made. Now we have flesh and bone. That time we'll be doing some, some uber in the spirit. You just, you just, you know how you can appear? You just appear in Mena's house. You just see you, I'm here. You just appear, you appear in, in, in Pastor Sosa. You just appear. You just be appearing in places. You're not taking any transport. You are moving in the spirit. Because you are flesh and bone, not flesh and blood. Do you understand? Flesh and blood can be walking on earth. Flesh and blood will walk on this earth. Flesh and bone will walk on the new earth. The new earth coming, it is flesh and bone that is coming. That is why you must be ready for transformation. We are only doing Riazai now. Are you ready for the real thing? This is a shadow. And now we have not arrived. Ah, we've not arrived. We've not even shown anything yet. This is just a rehearsal. Tell somebody we are coming. Oh, <laughs> tell somebody I'm coming, I'm coming. We have not arrived yet. I'm telling you, we have not arrived yet. So the core objective of God is fellowship. That's the core objective. So when he created man, he wanted to enjoy himself. Number two. I've mentioned now before. Number one, put the scripture down. Revelation chapter 4 verse 11. Just to help you there. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power. For thou hast created all things. And for thy pleasure, they are and were created. You know that song? Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Wow, you guys are lovely. Hey. Hey. They are, are created. 
Everything was created for his pleasure, not your pleasure. You must understand that when the Lord sends you, you're on a mission. If marriage is part of the mission, let it come. If marriage is not part of it, keep moving. It's a mission. Oh, you, you didn't hear that. Some of you are stuck up in the appendages of the mission, not the mission. Some of you are stuck up. I don't have a chance, so you are no more in the mission. The mission is not, for, is not, is not children. The mission he has sent you. But if you have to give birth on the mission, no problem. He's not against it. If you need to get rich, no problem. He's not against it. But don't let that affect the mission. Oh, you are not here. What I'm saying is, I know some of you say, hey, Pastor, you can say it now. You are married now. You can say it now. Hey, listen, even if I'm not married, it's not that I want to put a cross on myself, but even if I'm not married, I think I've come to understand now that there's something called the mission. God is, God does not regard, as it were, your own, your own desire for you to be able to turn his own counsel. Your desire cannot affect his counsel. He will not say because you desire to marry, you don't affect what you want to do. God doesn't do that. He has a counsel. The counsel must come to pass. If the counsel requires that your marriage will happen in between of the counsel, fine. If it does not require, sir, okay, you stay single. Or how do you explain Zachariah? How do you explain Elizabeth? God told, God, God had in his design that Elizabeth and Zachariah were going to give birth to the forerunner. Oh, they were chosen. Do you see how being chosen can be very expensive? How many of you are chosen here? Oh, be very careful before you raise your hand again. I said, how many of you are chosen here? May the Lord choose you. Say amen. amen. Be very careful as you say amen. I said, may the Lord choose you. Say amen. amen. Do you know that Elizabeth and Zachariah were chosen? And scripture said they were stricken in age and they did not have children. They waited. They, they may not have known all this while. Listen, and I know they didn't know because when when the angel showed up to him and he showed up when he was serving, it had got into a time Zachariah was no more praying. You know how you have prayed so much, you've stopped praying that prayer. You will pray other prayer, but you don't pray that prayer again. How many of you been there before? You prayed in particular area, just said, leave this one, I'm not sure God will do it. Zachariah was in that space. He had prayed, he had left that prayer. Then on one day, he was just doing his service and an angel appeared. Listen, Zachariah, how are you doing? He startled. He said, don't be afraid. God has heard your prayer. God only brought the answer to the prayer because it was time. Church, what you call delay, some of us, who is measuring time? There was a question somebody asked. Who gave the promise? So, why do you call it delay? Oh, Lord, I pray against this delay. Who, who, who is measuring it? Who gave the promise? Let me answer. Who, who gave the promise? So who should be measuring time? Oh, thank you, Jesus. You are now an ambassador. Second Corinthians 5, verse 17. And we close there. Because of our time. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. I'll read to verse 20. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. And we close there. Remember, it's a fellowship. Remember, you have set on a mission. God had that fellowship and he sent you on a mission because there's a dominion to be taken. The Bible says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a what? He's a new creature. All things are what? Passed away. Behold, all things are new. Verse 18. What does it say? He said, and all things are of God who had done what? Reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and had given us what? The ministry of what? Reconciliation. Verse 19. To wit that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and had committed unto what? The word of what? Reconciliation. That is who you are. That is what you are. You are supposed to be reconciling the world to him. Now, watch this. Next verse. What did I say? Now that what? Then we are what? Ambassadors of Christ. You are a representative of Christ. You are supposed to showcase the light of Christ. You can't have dominion if you are not reflecting him. You can reflect him. You reflect him by his way of life. You reflect him by becoming somebody that reconciles the world to him. Reconciles souls to him. That is how you reflect him. You're an ambassador. One beautiful thing about ambassador is this. You only live by the wealth and the protection of the country that you represent. You don't live. Listen, we are of this world. No, we are not of this world, but we are in this world. 
We are not of this world. We are from heaven. So the property of heaven, the provision of heaven, is what we are supposed to be using. You can imagine an American in this country, for example. An American in this country is only working on the budget of America, not your country. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, like I told them, if you go to the U.S. Embassy, there is order. How many of you have been there before? You, you see there is order? When you go to the American Embassy, the way all of us line up, there is order. Something just that you need to line up properly. If you go to Nigerian Embassy, there is... I didn't say so. But, 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 but what you will notice is that you will notice a certain spirit... One of my friends said he went to the Nigerian embassy and he said there was something he noticed. That the same way we behave in the country is the same way they behave inside the embassy. He said the same way they sell things. You know how they settle certain. It's the same way. I said, no, 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 no. Now, it now dawned on me. Anytime you travel outside this country, especially to the Western world, let me use UK for example. If you enter into the Etro airport, the first thing you will meet, you will meet a spirit. This is me describing things now. Don't get it, don't get it twisted. When I say spirit, it doesn't mean you will see something like this. Okay? You will meet an atmosphere that tells you order. You just discover that whether you are a senator, you are a commissioner, whoever you are, everybody falls in line. You carry your bag. Now, if you carry your bag, I was telling them in the Wednesday service, you be on the line. You don't, you, don't, you don't stay on that line and you are doing like this. You are looking at... Uh, you, know, you, know, you know how we always do in Nigeria? You are trying to call one of the... No, 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 no. Everybody, even the people that will be attending to you, the person attending to you, in the normal level of things, she's a small category level in terms of official that is offending to you. You will see one mama like this, one grown, grown woman. Say, please, go this way. Go this way. You can't, you can't say, I'm not going. You can't try it. You can't. Okay, they will return you back that day to your country. Now, for the fear of returning to Nigeria, if the man say go, you will even know if he say go into toilet, you will even enter that toilet. <laughs> I'm going to say that toilet. What? She is operating under what? Authority. That is the British Prime Minister talking to you. You don't understand what I said there. That woman talking to you is the British Prime Minister talking to you because she's operating on our authority. There is order. Sometimes I will stay in that line for two hours. This is the way we'll be working. God help you, Robert, that the day you travel, that the plane that is coming before you is not coming from China. You are of all men most miserable. They always land the masses. You will just see the line like this. Ah. The same set of people, Miss Mezie, when we are returning and we land in your country. You know, I told you I'm not from here. We land in your country. You know the first thing? An atmosphere will just welcome you. Watch, watch. The moment the atmosphere welcomes you in the airport, this is what we do. Uh, uh. Then, then everybody, then military people were entering into the place. They were carrying people's back. PA, everybody, they will scatter the line. Then people will go, I beg, I need, uh, uh, I'll just be looking. But we just came out together. Everybody say territory. Yeah. It is atmosphere. That's what the guy was telling me that, sir. If you enter Nigerian embassy, the same thing. They said to, they said to, they said to. <laughs> to get your passport. They said to in Nigerian embassy. Don't they settle here? You are looking at me. You have been in Italy. Don't they settle here? <laughs> How did you get your last passport? <laughs> Pastor, don't go there. No, let's touch it. <laughs> Look at someone. Say, it, seems, it looks as if you are the one Pastor is talking about there. The way you are laughing. It's as if you have experienced it. You know, he said to reconcile. We have the ministry of reconciliation. We are ambassadors. Anywhere you are, you are not an individual, you are a nation. Because you are representing a great country, Nigeria. Nigeria will be great again. Oh, yeah, you see, you don't believe. I said Nigeria will be great again. In this same country, we will come out and there will be order in your airport. In the name of Jesus. One of the airports I love most is Imo State Airport. Oh, really? I was strict when I went there. 
There was so much order. I thought it was a spirit. There was so much calmness in that airport. Not like your Lagos airport here. Everybody's in a hurry. You will be thinking that they want, you'll be thinking that the one that is, is about to take that plane, that they want to, to take us to where we're going to. They want to jump in. How will you be? All of us have seat number, seat number. They give us seat number. But somebody's rushing in. Meanwhile, where is going to? Where is going to? He's at the back. Oh. His seat number is at the back. But he's rushing. Oh, God, take it. We have seat number. If I don't, if I don't enter, the plane is not going anywhere. Even if I've not entered, they'll still be calling me. Emmanuel, what five minutes? Emmanuel, we're waiting. They will wait for me. So why are you in a hurry? Why are you in a hurry? That's why Benin Republic are better than us. Even though they are, their own is worse. They are so laid back. They are, not busy. they are laid back. Three hours, they call it, they call it siesta. And not just siesta, they will leave the hotel. Very terrible thing. That's why they are poor. They, they, they are so lazy. But you're all, you are too in a hurry. When can he and see us? They say, what is wrong with you, Nigeria? Where are you going to? That's what they always look at us. Because when, when we come out, hey, we need to do a meeting. 3 p.m. We've been waiting. Ah, relax. They'll tell us, let's eat. Uh, I came to do me. I need to fly back to Lagos. <laughs> Calm down. But have the mentality of a nation inside of you. Church, you are not an individual. When you move to your new street, go around and check it. Do as if you are part of people that own the street. Have an attitude. What you are teaching in dominion is attitude. Have a behavior. Don't enter into Newcastle or enter into Canada or Toronto and enter anyhow. When you enter, announce yourself. Listen, nobody may be listening to you, but the spirits are listening. Announce yourself. Emmanuel is here. Don't, don't do it in front of border police. You see, everything I'm always telling you, use wisdom. Oh. <laughs> if you go and stand in front of a boy, Emmanuel is here. Oh, boy. <laughs> With your visa, they will return you. When I did mine, when I did mine, I remember that was in New Jersey. No, no, New Jersey, New Orleans. When I did mine, I came out in the night around 11 p.m. And God said, walk around the city. I walked around New Orleans. as I was just walking. Le Palaba, we receive the city. Le Kenemeno. People are also walking in the night. So they don't know what me I'm doing. Another one is doing his own. Re Mana, we receive the city. Re Mana. I was doing my own. Taking the, taking the territory. I, just, I said, there, there, there's, a place, there, there's a place they call um, um, Bon Bonbon bon Street. If you go to New Orleans, please don't go to that street if the Lord has not sent you. It's a terrible street. If you go and check it and Google it, Bonbon bon Street is one of the worst streets in the whole world because everything happened on that street, if you understand what I'm saying. So let's leave it at that. So I just said in my spirit, walk through Bonbon bon Street. I said, walk through Bonbon bon Street. I said, Lord, walk through Bonbon bon Street. He said, walk through it. I prayed. He said, walk through. When I was going to walk through, I, th- I don't know whether I was wearing glasses. I just put my head up. Rabante manate. Because you're seeing things. Omo, everything just happening around you. I was walking through the land. In this place, when I come back to this place, this place would have changed. I, I entered into New Orleans. I didn't go to sleep in my hotel, be eating cake, drinking yogurt, drinking ice cream, uh, feeling America. No, no. I knew I was in a place, a territory work needed to be done. I went for job, but I knew it was not job. Job was a setup. Some of you, job will carry you into UN. It's not the job. You are here for such a time as this. Some of you, you forget. You will join UN. Then you are receiving big salary. You forget. God did not send you to take big salary. He wanted you to take that nation. So when you come in, the UN job is a disguise for you to enter. When you now enter, start showing your color. Some of you, yes, you are going to relocate to Canada. But when you enter, it's a setup. You're going to Canada. It's not for you to go and have fun. I just changed it for you now. I'll be checking on you. <laughs> because the next time I ask you, I say, hey, Ini, how are you doing? Ah, uh, Pastor, we have bought a car. Oh, Ini, it's not just about car. What are you, are you taking Halifax? Are you taking that place? Are you taking the land? Are you influencing people? Can you now say that somebody that says it's an LGBTQR, are you infl- Oh, I told them in the first service, Pastor, I told them, I said, there's a new system we're creating now. When you go to meet in those territory and they say, you know they have pronouns, and they say they are they. You must be strategic. When they say they are they, and you are introducing yourself, don't introduce yourself as he. Introduce yourself to as they. Are you not they? <laughs> no, you don't understand. You know you are they too. God the Father. God the Son. 
God the Holy Spirit, he stays inside of you. Don't be too religious. When I say, hey, please, I want to be called day. Ah, uh-huh, day, midday too. How you doing? <laughs> now, you are operating from a dimension. So as you're introducing, say, day, oh, are you good? Yeah, I'm good. You're operating from a dimension. Watch this, watch this, guys. Because you need to be wise as a serpent. But be what? Be gentle as a dove. That is how you take dominion. You don't come out and you, you tie scarf. You know, you don't wear a ring. Then everything, everything all together. Then you know, hey, God loves you. God loves you. You chase people away. That's not what we're talking about. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about you're doing business with them. You're talking with them. You're chatting with them. You're laughing with them. One day someone just say, he say, I don't know. I think I have a, 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 a tumor somewhere. Oh, you have a tumor? Oh, okay. I, 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 have, I have a spirit. Oh, you have a spirit? Yeah, I, I, can, I can give you my spirit. Oh, and, and, and I release my spirit to him. And the guy gets healed. Whoa. He said, man, I love your spirit. He said, yes. You can drink more. How? Come with me. There's a place we drink the spirit. You, you, you know, you'll be creating concept in their mind. Listen, they don't know your language. But you can control the atmosphere with wisdom, wisdom. Enough of the time that the enemy is using deceiving us. We need to deceive the enemy now. You need to operate in a high level of wisdom that when you come into a place, don't reveal yourself on time. That's why I like snakes. Snakes don't reveal on time. He said, be wise as a serpent. Snake will just be watching you. He has watched your movement this way. He noticed that when you do this, this is what you do. He noticed your pattern. The next movement you make, he will go for that pattern. That's how a cobra kills. He will just pick that pattern and kill. The same way, you need to be smart. Be smart. Be smart. Listen, all, some of us are trusting to be billionaires. It's not because I want B on my name. No, it's because there are certain people I cannot reach except I'm a billionaire. Church, you will not see Aliko, for example, in a commercial plane. How would you see Aliko? That all of you are working. He's dropping ticket. You won't. But where will you not see them? You will see them in where PJs are hanging. You know what PJ is, right? So when you come out, Dayo, you come out from your PJ, Aliko comes out. Liko, how are you doing? <laughs> For example, they were having, they were having, uh, what was that meeting that happened in Paris a few days ago? Um, I forgot the name of the meeting that happened. Where all the presidents gathered in Paris. Yeah. They were having that meeting. Do you know that not every, it's not only president that went for that meeting. They were strategic top businessmen that attended that meeting. Do you know among them were Jewish people that were in that meeting? Now imagine yourself that God has raised you. Those are the kind of meeting you will be. As you're shaking them, how are you doing? How's everything? You just wear a cross. That's when you wear a cross. So, you're, you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and we Christ. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you say, oh, no, no, no I'm, I'm rainbow. Oh, you're rainbow. Okay, okay. I'm white. I'm white. <laughs> you'll be using, you'll be using similitude. That they are using similitude. You'll be using similitude. If they bring out a flag, bring out your flag. We have flags, sir. Oh, <laughs> we're rainbows too. They are, they are, yeah, yeah, They actually, they actually bastardize the true rainbow because we are the one that really have the true rainbow. Church, it is time to make sure. Don't be religious. Listen, Christianity is not religion. It's kingdom. And when you're talking about kingdom, we're talking about constitution. And when you're talking about constitution, we're talking about making nations. Please, all of us have been inside church too long. Even, I don't want my apostle to hear this. Sincerely, when we come to church sometime, after one hour, we should tell people, let's go to the field. Let's just go out. And I'm going to do it one day. After one hour service, say all of us, let's go out. Oh yeah, drive your car. Everybody move. Everybody move. Don't come back. Until you get somebody coming with souls. Enter into a supermarket. Enter, enter everywhere. Let them say, why are these people coming? What? And you are dressed well. If somebody comes down, ah, you're so close. if somebody comes down from a Prado, Chukuma, and the person says, how are you doing? They will give you attention. And he will hear what you want to say. Is that all right? He say, how are you doing? Say, how? And I, now, imagine, imagine seven Prados following themselves. Church, imagine... Let me give you another concept. Imagine eight Prados with a limousine. I must do this limousine though, next week. <laughs> Man, let me find out how much limousine is. I want to, I want to provoke the devil. I want, I want to so, relax. It's borrowed. We will borrow it and put it. <laughs> so imagine, imagine we have ten Prados and one limousine. And we all land in ShopRite. 
Do you know that the whole people say, ah. If you, 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 find, you find bloggers, ah, ah, things are happening slowly now. Then as they're saying it, everybody's coming down. Pastor, we say, come down. I come down. Chukma, you come down. And all of us are coming down. And we're coming down. You say, oh, Jesus loves you. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> ah, the guy will not be greeting you, sir. <laughs> he will look at the... Ah. We need to change our approach. Oh, Father, thank you. Lift up your hand and let's bless God. We need to go. Lord, make dominion my lifestyle, oh God. Every day, help me. Let me recognize that the territory is to be taken. Help me. Lord, let me recognize that the estate is to be taken. Lord, let me recognize that the business, the banking industry is to be taken. Lord, help me. Help me, oh God. Help me, oh God. Help me. Lord, help me. Pray and say, Lord, I don't want to be a waste in my generation. The Bible said, and David served God in his generation. Lord, help me. Help me not to be a waste. Help me. Help me serve my generation. Hi. Lord, help me. Help me. Lord, let me not forget the reason why you sent me to the palace. It's not for me. It's not for me. The reason why you sent me to the palace is not for me. Help me. It's not for me. The reason why you gave me that car is not for me. Funny enough, that marriage is not really necessary for me. It's a mission. It's a mission. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Lord, shut the doors that need to be shut. Lord, open the doors that need to be opened. Lord, shut the doors that need to be shut. Thank you, Lord. We give God praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can we give God praise? Amen. So I just want to encourage us, please, let, let's plan to be here on Friday. The Lord will help you. Tell somebody, try and be here on Friday. Do your best. Um, our resident pastor of the, um, the, this present house will be here. Um, Abbe is coming. It's going to be a great night. Please do your best. Invite people who want to have a full house. More than this, I'm trusting God, so that we have a great, great time in God's presence. Then um, on, um, on Sunday, please... Um, um, <laughs> on Sunday, please come with limousine, please, please. <laughs> How many of you would like to join me in the limousine? How many of you would like to join me? Bring your money when you're coming. <laughs> I know people are going to, I know people are going to, I know. All right, all right. So, so we're, going to, we're going to come. So please let me check. I, 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 want to, I want to provoke this place. I want to provoke this place. There are certain things you just get angry. How many of you have ever been in this situation before where you have suffered so well, then you now receive salary, you now go to a particular restaurant? How many of you have ever seen? Ah, 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 ah. Ah, uh, uh, my people. I didn't know you are there, my people. You now go to a very expensive. Ah, uh, <coughs> yeah, bring it, bring it. Ah, uh, bring it. You now be eating. Uh -huh. What's up? What's up? When you are now going over, they okay. Anyhow, ah, le kuwa le parawa. There's some things you should do. I'm telling you, there's some things you do. Listen, when you're doing that, you know what you're doing. You're breaking mentality. Mentality. What you do. You are not the only one. Oh, ah, ah, Pastor, ah, we are stopping. We are stopping. You are not the only one. Everybody is going through stuff. Everybody. If everybody come here and not saying what they're going through, you will come down your own. There are a lot of trouble everywhere. But will you not die because of trouble? What's that? Live your life. Tell us what I said, live your life. Live your life. Ah, trouble, trouble, trouble. During Christmas, because of trouble. You will, not, you, you, you will even be sad, even on the Christmas day, because of trouble. New Year, you are still sad. Come on, man. Come on. Buy ice cream. <laughs> For those who are not watching their sugar level, please, you know, enjoy yourself. Relax. If rapture comes down, you will not be getting angry. Relax. <laughs> Some people that don't want rapture to come. <laughs> Pastor, rapture can't come now. Nothing they happen. Ah, Pastor, 
I've not been promoted. We rapture. Rapture should hold on. Okay, second batch. Second batch. Pastor, second batch. Relax. Listen, listen. God, listen, God, God loves us to enjoy. Listen, even if you see us preaching soldier message sometimes, there's a time of peace too. It's not every time we're fighting, no. Don't do this every time. No, I don't fight every time. If you are fighting every time, how would you build? Every time. You can't be fighting every time. Now, there's some time of peace. But always know, what scripture is just saying, know the time of peace and the time of war. Don't mix it together, okay? All right.